All right, guys, everyone knows for years now, I've been regarded as one of the greatest, one of the most talented spy players in all of Team Fortress 2. My strategies are legendary. And today I've decided to bless YouTube and the entire TF2 community by sharing three of my most elite strategies with all of you, giving you the chance to see what a true 10,000 hour spy professional looks like. So strap yourselves in, because today your minds are going to be blown. And we're going to be starting off with one of the most basic, one of the simplest, one of the easiest spy tricks in the book. And that is, of course, the trick stab. All right, we got our big kill. We got our knife and the most important item, the dead ringer. It's been nerfed into the ground. But that doesn't mean that I'm still not going to play spy like a little bitch. Now, let me show you what an expert, professional TF2 spy really looks like. You know what? They may, oh, hopefully he's AFK and he isn't actually just looking at me right now. <laughs> actually, wait, I've got an idea. Genius. Now he'll have no idea. I'm just another part of the scenery. Okay, he still hasn't seen me. Still hasn't seen me. Still hasn't seen me. Don't come anywhere near me. All right, here we go. We're going in. Oh God, all right, I missed the first one. That was just a warm up. Okay, and this, it's not looking good. I'm fine, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything is, this is all actually part of the plan is what a lot of you don't realize. Okay, I forgot one of the nerfs is you, you can't actually refill the dead ringer on ammo anymore. And that's okay because I knew that was gonna work. All right though, I said I was here to show you my trick stabbing prowess. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. No idea what the hell just happened, but it worked. And then I, all right, and we died. See, that's the key, really. It's not about knowing how to play spy. It's about running towards enemies and going for a face stab. Oh, God. He's deaf. Don't worry. My skill with a big kill is legendary. And now we can go back in. Oh, wait. No, don't worry. I can do it again. I'm going to do it again. Come on. Oh, he's bad. He's not happy. <laughs> Again, I actually wish I could take credit, but I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Now, I've shown you what a side stab can look like. Let me show you what a step. Oh, stair stab. Okay, see, I would have got that. Okay, wait. Seriously, I need to be able to get one stair stab here or no one's going to respect me. This is a really high level strategy. It's called... Sitting, okay, you weren't supposed to know I was here. All right, we got an engineer here. Oh, come on! So that guy was clearly a very high level player and uh, sometimes they're harder to hit the stair stabs on. All right, seriously. Can we count that? <laughs> oh, now ready? You're about to see another. Okay, I just when you think I can't mess things up anymore. Oh, that was almost perfect. All right, now, as I was saying, stair stabs are actually quite simple uh, elementary tricks. Step number one. Wait, I, God damn it, please. Now, like I said, stair stabs are extremely easy beginner tricks. Come on, but just come up these stairs and then I'm gonna go like that, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, so you come up the stairs and then I'm gonna go like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, right? Whoa, oh. Just, just kill me. I'm clearly, I'm clearly, I'm clearly not cut out for this job anymore. Yeah, yeah. So you, you come up here, and then I'm gonna go like. Please hey, hey. pretend that I did that. One more try. One more try. Ready? What? Ah, oh, oh. wait. No, no, no. One more try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go. Ready? What? Oh, no, 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 no. I can hit this. And then, and then. Wait. No, no, no. Give me one more go. Oh! Yo! It's that easy. It's that easy, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you become the professional Team Fortress 2 spy. As you can see, simply elementary stuff. And you can do it any day of the week with my eyes shut. It's it's just, it's simply not a problem. Wait, wait. I could just, I could hit a montage here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh my God, there we go again. That's two in a row, baby. That's two in a row. I'm literally professional. Oh, you, oh, oh, you reckon you got me? You got me? Nah, see, again. It's just, it's that easy. Another another totally unsuspecting player is coming up my stairs. And and then oh oh Okay, see no but his reactions was Oh wait oh oh Oh, oh! 
dominating, baby. It's that easy. So, yes, as we can all see after uh, after that round, stair stabs, you know, they can be effective, but they're honestly, they're too easy. Who can't do a stair stab? And that's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the more elite, some of the more expert spy strategies. But uh, to do that, first things first, we're going to have to change map. We've already established trick stabs are easy and I'm the best in the game at them. But now it's time to show you something a little bit more unique because as soon as this point gets captured, we're going to move on to the highest, the most elite strategy in all of Team Fortress 2. Okay, you guys probably know what I'm about to go on about here. It is the one, the only, the box trot spy. A lot of people think this class is all about skill about high level tricks but this will make you completely invisible and stop you from ending up like that spy right there now as you can see people can't see you because you're completely invisible seriously unfortunately that that spot didn't work the good news is i've got another spot and that's right here okay this guy i can't tell whether this other spy is actually helping my cause or if they're uh making it more of a problem honestly though i guess the more box trot spies there are the more we're gonna blend in you see like i told you that guy is probably one of the highest scoring people on our team right now because he knows the strategy let's see where is he there you go look at that femboy fishing top of the leaderboard this is what all the best spies use okay someone okay he Okay, come on. Seriously, bro? <laughs> come on! A lot of people can spot me, but not the Gibbous Pyro of all people. All right, like I was saying, the most elite strategy in the game. The most elite... Everyone thinks the saying is third tries the charm. The actual saying is, uh, is fourth times the charm. And that is why we're now in the best spot. Perfectly blending in with the environment. Absolutely impossible. To spot. All right, now as they're pushing in here, we're about. Okay, actually, I don't think we were blocking the cart. It wasn't. It literally wasn't blocking the cart. Okay, well it's fine. We just need to slightly reposition. There we go. Now we're in the perfect spot. And as you can see, it's not blocking the cart. It's it's not blocking. It was not blocking the cart at all. Okay. You know what? I think that other spy had the right idea. This is actually the meta spot. All right, I am. 80% certain it's going to work this time. Oh, God, no, not a flog pyro. Not a flog pyro! For the love of... Oh, thank God. Thank you, Sentry. Okay, we're just... We're slightly repositioning here. Yeah, perfect. See, all the previous times, I just had fractionally wrong positioning. Look at that. He's got no idea. He had no clue. There we go. Proof. Proof that the, that the meme strat is a success. Now, a lot of people might think that we're currently defending so successfully because of that sentry gun. But you'd be wrong. Oh, come on! Two very boring minutes later. I... Uh, come on! Now it's time for the final, but undoubtedly greatest strategy. The Kritz Krieg big kill. It might look like a normal revolver. It might have the same stats as a normal revolver, but everyone knows. It's not a normal revolver because the big kill is just better. Why is it better? No one really knows, but it just is. And why use a knife? Why use a box when you have a big kill? It's literally in the name. It gets big kills. And also, I, I seriously just need some kind of strategy that will actually work out for me. See that scout? Never stood a chance. I'm getting everyone so low. Up. Pyro is done. There we go. Two kill streak. Oh my god. All right, Spy. You want to make it less obvious that you're trying to get me? Okay, we're gonna have to uh, back up here. Good god. Oh, I'm pretty sure one of our me have I got three medics healing me? Ah, uh, I forgot what it's like. <laughs> I've got three medics. <laughs> okay, I have to be able to do something here. If I can't do something with three medics in me like this, then that's just going to be straight up embarrassing. Pros and cons of being called Muzelk in a game of TF2. On one hand, you get people like that who absolutely spend the whole game. He's trying to shoot my medics. Leave them alone. I need their crits. You're never going to headshot me, bro. You're never going to headshot me. Okay, I should probably back up. Bro, okay. 
The downside is you get people like that spy who have no goal in life other than trying to backstab you, even though I'm a spy. Okay, we're gonna need these crits very soon. Come on. Come on, scout. There we go. Oh my god, we're gonna get on the point. Get on the point. Clutch it. This is what I needed. Where are the enemies? Where are the freaking enemies? All right, that was not ideal. But look, the point is I defended the point and I'm alive. I've only got one shot at this. One shot for people to take my spy tips video seriously. Look at all that damage. And I'm top scorer on the team. So I hate all you want, but it turns out all you need is a big kill and three pocket medics and you too could be a top scorer. We gotta back up here. There we go, another one. Oh God, they're on the point. Oh God. Oh, come team! All right, well, that wasn't my fault. I didn't have enough medics.